So today's a bit of a fun one. It is Friday, so I thought we would experiment with the new image generator in ChatGPT. So I've got a model here on the screen, um, part of a demo project that I was using throughout the week. And what I'm going to do is just extract a, um, a snapshot from the screen and then drop that into ChatGPT. So I've done a little bit of work in the background setting up for this video um, just to save you the waiting time um, for that image generation process. So I'm going to jump across to ChatGPT now. I've pasted the image in there and this is the prompt that I applied. So I wanted a hyper-realistic architectural rendering um, with an emphasis on the colored building. So trying to really draw in on that focal point and tell the generator that this is where I want my proposed design. This is the feature. Um, and then these colored buildings should be rendered with conventional facades and colors. It should be a lively environment. So I'm trying to pull away from the yellows and oranges and blues there um, and lively environment. I'm trying to tell it to um, populate it with some people and some trees and cars, etc. And this is what we got. So um, it's quite amazing, really. Like we went from this basic um, massing stage with a raw map and it's built out this community. So it's even... Um, rezoned the road to a pedestrian access zone um it's sort of rerouted the road around which is fine um we've got some great contextual buildings it, it looks quite dense but it still uh, looks realistic um and the buildings aren't too bad they are very sort of um blockish apartments so I think there's a little bit more that we can do there and let's zoom in the scale a little bit to just a single building so we can really um, put chat GPT through, its, um, through the test. So I'm going to grab this, pro, uh, this building at the front here. I'm just going to turn off all of these other um, sites and take a snapshot of this building alone. So um, again, I've done a little bit of this uh, prior to the video. So I'm going to grab the snapshot and go back to chat GPT, scroll down here. This is where I've pasted it in. So you'll see the single building and then the prompt that I've applied here. So a hyper-realistic architectural rendering, don't change the scale or viewpoint. So I'm trying to be consistent here and make sure it doesn't adjust the view. Sometimes it can um, play with that and it doesn't look great. So the two lower floors are retail with residential floors on top. And the facade should be a modern, sustainable, and invoke a wow factor. So let's see what we've got. And this this is what came out. So honestly, not too bad for a first pass. Um, it's sort of captured the retail aspect at the ground floor. I think it's sort of merged the two floors just into a um, single double height space, um, which is fine. Uh, we... We've got a residential building on top. It has followed the colors, um, but not too bad. We've got this sort of blue Babylonian style brick that's um, applied to the retail aspect. So there's a distinction between the two uh, usages, which is nice. Um, and it did miss the sawtooth facade um, that I had on that right side. So what I'm going to try and do is add an additional prompt and iterate on that design to try and introduce that. So let's keep this. Um, now I want to add a sawtooth facade and add two additional levels on top that are slightly stepped back. So here what I'm doing is just sort of testing it and see how far I can push it by introducing new prompts. So the hope is that we'll get another two levels on top that are slightly stepped back and we will get that sawtooth facade introduced. So Scrolling down, instant renders are great. Um, and we can see the final product that we have here on the screen. It's not too bad, to be honest. So in a total of sort of five minutes, um, I know I sort of did a bit of pre-processing before the video, but it's captured the sawtooth facade um, in a unique way. Um, we've got the extra levels on top. Looks like we only got one level, but it still stepped it back. So it understood that. Um, and it kept the retail at the ground floor. So I'm actually really impressed to how far we got just from some basic geometry in giraffe and some very simple prompts. So this is where we started. 
Um, and then a few prompts later, we arrived at something that looks like this that you could quite easily drop into your report. Um, and it's a very convincing um, design.